Hello, everyone, and welcome to TCO Performance Center in Egan. Mark Rosen, your host, for a special roundtable discussion concerning the Vikings All-Decade Team. Yes, from the years 2010 to 2019, we have a very distinguished panelist here to this afternoon to discuss it and probably argue about some of the merits of these, uh, these picks today. Uh, Paul Allen, of course, the longtime voice of the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Kevin Seifert, NFL writer for ESPN. Uh, been doing this for quite a while, covering the Minnesota Vikings, and the one and only Pete Bursich. Vikings analyst as well. Here are the ground rules to start out with, guys. Um, I'm sure we'll have some very interesting uh, uh, picks here. One quarterback, two running backs, one fullback, three wide receivers, one tight end. To kick things off, uh, we'll go with the glamour position right away. Let's talk about the quarterback. Who else do you go with but Kirk Cousins? Let's open it up for discussions. PA will let, let it fly here. Well, the, the, the conversation we had backstage before we came out here with the case Pete made for Christian Ponder was extremely <laughs> compelling. Was it really? I, I think at the end of the equation, <laughs> you get down to Kirk Cousins or Teddy Bridgewater. For me, with the 56 touchdowns, the 16 interceptions, and I know it's only two years, but the fact that he won a playoff game, quite honestly, I think this is a no-brainer. I think it's Kirk. Beautiful throw. Bonjour, San Francisco, and au revoir. New Orleans Saints. Kevin, did, uh, did that playoff win also put, in your mind, put Kirk over the top? Actually, I heard a word in, in your explanation that uh, I thought you were going down my road. Case Keenum. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, my, in my thinking of this is that there isn't a lot of sustained success at quarterback in this decade for, any, for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of my, my opinion, my, my general observation. And gotcha. so you almost get to single seasons. And I don't think anyone had a better season than Case Keenum did in 2017. Mm -hmm. He was the second best quarterback in the league by QBR. Um, that year. Kirk Cousins had a really good season, probably a top mm -hmm, 10 mm -hmm. uh, this past year. But if you're, to me, you almost have to go by single season given how it's gone. Sure. And I think Case's uh, season was the best. Wow. Well, Pete Bursich. I'm stir it up right here at the beginning. You know what? That's a good thing to stir it up because if you look at Keenum's year he had in 2017, it's pretty hard to argue with that. And the Minneapolis Miracle, the whole nine yards, what happened with that team? Well, if we're going to talk about longevity at the position, yep. who other than Christian Ponder would be your quarterback in right. the decade? We're going to go going by that. There. Yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm. no, my point, Kirk Cousins, I think, is definitely the guy of the decade. And you take a look, and a lot of people, I think it's between he and Teddy Bridgewater, and you just take a look at the numbers, and, and Paul pointed out a few of them, but mm -hmm. 18, almost 1,800 more yards, 28 more touchdowns, five less interceptions, and the highest passer rating that Teddy ever had for a season was 88.7 where Kirk just ripped off one that was over right. 107. Yeah. So from a production standpoint, from you know the touchdowns, the interception ratios, all those things, it's we all like to look at the win-loss records, right, from the quarterbacks, cause, but that's a team-type concept. If you're looking at just performance of a player at a position, then Kirk Cousins is the guy of the decade. Well, again, it's not much of a, a body of work here. We're talking one particular season with yeah. Keenum, one particular season, even though he was here for two years for Kirk Cousins. I, I'm going to back off the, and seriously, the the no-brainer comment that I made about Kirk because now that that I think about Case Moore in 2017, he saved the season. I mean, he, he wasn't the starting quarterback, and I'll never forget week two at Heinz Field when they, they tried to get Bradford up and running, and Keenum came in basically having done nothing during the week. Okay, they lose. You know, and they didn't get off to a great start, but then just what he did to save that season, his mobility, I, I stick with Kirk. I, I agree with Kevin. I mean, it's not a no-brainer. <laughs>